Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, my dear students and audience. In this video, we will talk about genetic gain in animal breeding. Genetic gain is the rate of genetic improvement within a breeding population over time. Its examples are kilograms of milk yield per generation in saival cattle, kilograms of weaning weight per generation in dhani cattle. Uh, we obviously we would like to increase both of them, both of these trades, and uh, Third is seconds of racing time per generation to cover 2000 meters in Arabian horse. So this is a racing horse. We need to decrease the racing time to win the race. So our, uh, uh, our objective depends upon our direction of selection. Either we need to increase that rate or decrease in the future progeny. This is a typical breeding program which starts from defining production system, defining breeding goals, collecting phenotypes, genotypes, and pedigrees, determining selection criteria and breeding value estimation. And here at point stage five, it comes a selection and mating and predicting selection response. So genetic gain basically tells us how much we have achieved through uh, a selection program or through a breeding and mating decisions. So this is simple formula for genetic gain estimation. It is also called breeder's equation. It is delta G, delta is for change, and G is for genetic gain. So delta G is a rate of genetic change, genetic gain. Uh, uh, it is genetic gain is equal to intensity I multiplied by RIH multiplied by sigma A. I stands for intensity of selection. RIH stands for accuracy of selection. Sigma A is genetic standard deviation, which is equal to the square root of additive genetic variance sigma square A. So these three values are required for calculating genetic gain. Now, intensity of selection. It is, it is derived from proportion or percentage of population we are using for breeding. For example, we have 100 animals uh, in a population and we are interested in using top 5% for breeding. So corresponding intensity value would be 2.063. If we are using top 10% for selection, it would be 1.755. If uh, for some reason you are using all 100 animals for breeding, then intensity value would be zero and genetic gain would be zero. There would not be any gain from that selection. So this is a, a tricky formula for uh, calculating intensity is equal to phi x over p. p is the proportion selected, x is the mean deviation of the selected group, and phi x is probability density function for standard normal distribution. You do not need to learn this uh, uh, derivation. Uh, what we need to know is the proportion of animals we will be using for selection and the corresponding intensity values can be derived or calculated or obtained from the table. Accuracy of selection. It is the accuracy of selecting animals based on breeding values. So breeding values are estimates of true breeding values. We know true breeding values are unknown and quality of our estimated breeding values is measured by accuracy. So what is accuracy? It is correlation between estimated breeding values and true breeding values. And accuracy values range from 0 to 1. 0 means no correlation and 1 means 100% correlation. So the closer the EBV is to true breeding value, the higher the accuracy and greater the response to selection or genetic gain. So we need to be more accurate to get higher values of genetic gain. Genetic standard deviation. Uh, this is basically a measure of uh, genetic variation in a population for that trait. If we have more variation, we will get more genetic gain. If less variation, we will get less genetic gain. Just to recap, we know P is equal to G plus E plus G into E. Phenotype is equal to genotype plus environment plus genotype into environment interaction. Suppose G into E is zero. So P is would be equal to G plus E. Now we know that uh, gene action is uh, uh, of three types, additive, dominance, and epistasis. And we presume dominance and epistasis is zero. 
so now g would become equal to a and p is equal to a plus e uh, let's take variation of each of them variation in phenotype is equal to variation in additive gene action plus variation in environment so this uh, variation uh, is expressed in terms of variance which is called sigma scare so sigma scare p is equal to sigma scare a plus sigma scare e and from this sigma scare a we can get sigma a sigma is simply scare root of sigma scare a and this is called genetic additive genetic standard deviation so this is usually given and we can get values of genetic gain let's take a practical example we have a population of arabian horse and typical age for a racing horse is three years and race length is 2000 meters and average time of current population to cover 2000 meter distance is 117 seconds so we have applied a breeding program selection program uh, uh, and we need to predict how much improvement we will get from this breeding so genetic standard deviation is already given it is three seconds accuracy of selection is 0.24 and intensity of selection if we select top 10 percent for breeding it is 1.755 let's go back to our original intensity table so we are selecting top 10 percent of arabian horse male and female for breeding and intensity becomes 1.755 so uh, simply multiply these values in to get genetic gain delta g i multiplied by r i h multiplied by a 1.755 multiplied by 0 0.24 0 0.3 is 1.26 seconds per generation so in next generation we will get 1.26 seconds reduction in, uh, in in generation uh, in in next generation so average time of for next generation would be 117 minus 1 1.26 it is 115.75 seconds so next generation would be better than this one because they would take less time to cover 2000 meter distance another concept in this genetic gain is generation interval it is the average age of parents at the birth of their offsprings suppose we have sheep and breed is salt range and use uh, give birth to their first offspring at one year of age second offspring at two years of age so generation interval can be calculated one into one plus one into two divided by one plus one which is 1.5 years suppose we have a u which uh, is producing more than one offspring here sheep salt uh, species and breed is salt range and uh, they produced the first kid at one year of age but at second years they produced more than one single and twins and their average was 1.3 so in this case in this case the uh, generation interval can be calculated 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 1.3 multiplied by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 1.3 which is equal to 1.56 years so how we will fit this generation interval in genetic gain we will simply divide delta g by l uh, so we will get genetic gain per year so previously we got genetic gain per generation but by adding generation interval l we got genetic gain per year so a take home message from this lecture is a breeding program can be evaluated by calculating genetic gain genetic gain depends upon genetic variation in the population accuracy of selection intensity of selection and generation interval we can improve genetic gain by increasing one to three factors and by reducing generation interval thank you very much for your attention and we, these are the references I used for this presentation.